And Valley cotton farmers have their fingers crossed. They're hoping for that rain that Serge mentioned at 5 o'clock and a break in the heat. If they don't get any relief soon, their harvest could turn up short. Channel 5's Stephanie Rosanna spoke to a cotton farmer in Sebastian. She joins us live there now. And Stephanie, what are the crops looking like out there? Rudy, you see these white blooms on top of the crop. Well, this is a sign of a stress and the farmer we spoke to out here who oversees this crop field, they, he says that instead they should be in the center, but since they're at the top, it's impacting the growth of the plant. And if rain doesn't fall soon, it can also have an impact on his profit and this year's harvest. The excessive heat and lack of rainfall is spelling trouble for cotton farmers. Because you add both factors together, it's put, the, it's put the cotton crop under a lot of stress. The growth of the crop is at a standstill. We had so much rain in April and May, and it, this, this cotton gets used to that. And so it, it, it is a desert plant, so it'll go into survival mode. And all the fruit, when it gets to a certain point, it'll start knocking the fruit off and it falling on the ground. Johnson says over the last 10 to 14 days, the weather has been hard on the cotton crop, even at night. Uh, the high nighttime temperatures doesn't let the cotton rest and, 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 and regroup. The harvest season is coming up at the end of next month. Johnson says rain is needed to help his crop finish growing. The cotton crop is already starting to wilt. So the heat is definitely doing some stuff to the cotton. If you look at the cotton, uh, when you see white blooms in the top, it means it's stressing some. Johnson says that is the crop's way of saying it doesn't have enough water to keep itself cool. Cotton, you pull it. I don't know if I can even pull one of them. Josh McGinney, associate professor and extension specialist for Texas A&M, knows the problem well. There's a lot of enzymes in the plant. There, there's a lot of physiological processes going on that all have an optimal temperature range where they occur. And if that plant can't keep itself cool because of the lack of water and also the ambient air temperature, we, we see those physiological processes just stop. At least two inches of rain is needed to help the crop pull through. Farmer Johnson says another issue is the price he's making back on cotton. Compared to last year, the price has gone down 30 to 35 percent. He says this is a worldwide situation. Live in Sebastian, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.